Every now and then I take out this Sony shortwave radio and play around with it. This actually runs on two sets of battery. One set of uh, two AA batteries that runs the computer and three D-sized cells to run the actual radio. And since uh, I don't want to keep the D-sized battery in there for an extended period of time because it can leak if you don't if you don't um, check on it every so often uh, the batteries can leak so uh, I was thinking of alternative way of running the radio of course you can use an AC adapter 4.5 volt to to run the radio and um, I have quite a few of these 18650s and they give out about 4.2 volt when fully charged and you can run them down to 3.6 volt so with just one battery you can run the radio right now I have it plugged in and and uh, it runs the radio and this is the battery check it uh, is almost uh, indicate a full charge is 4.11 volt now on the uh, low battery alarm so if I were to use this um, from here on um, I can attach a battery voltage indicator with a low voltage alarm I can set it to about 3.6 volt so that would give each cell 1.2 volt so you can you can set that 3.8 and then or you can set it off and then you can just for me I set it to 3.6 volt so when when the voltage drops to 3.6 volt it would give me an audible alarm and um, I can recharge the battery with uh, something like this this is a USB charger for the 18650 so it, uh, it makes the radio um, more economical to run if you have three D cells it can probably run the radio for about eight hours or so this is uh, fairly power hungry and the only thing that you have to be aware of is the plug here um, is center negative so you make sure you don't um, wire it up as uh, center positive. Another way of uh, powering this radio is of course with the USB power bank something like this which essentially has one single lithium ion battery inside but the problem with this is it outputs 5 volt and this is takes, uh, it takes 4.5 volt so you actually have to regulate the 0.5 volt uh, that is over the limit for this radio and um, you can do that of course uh, with uh, to regulate 0.5 volt you would need a 3.3 ohm resistor in line so you don't um, supply too much voltage to the radio so this is definitely uh, an option and um, probably work better than hooking the single battery up and then uh, with a voltage alarm uh, so this could be the way to go because you can have a bigger battery box uh, instead of one cell you can have like four cell or or whatever so 
at very low volume, the radio draws about 0.15 uh, amp. So the situation with so yeah, about 0.15 amp. So um, yeah. Uh, other ways of powering it, of course, is with a little hand crank generator. A particular hand crank has a regulator. It has a 5 volt regulator. And this hand, hand crank has a three phase um, alternator. It's a permanent magnet alternator. It outputs the same as this type of DC motor hand crank, except this type of hand crank is very difficult to crank when it is under load. So it's, um, for me it's useless. You can crank, crank this for a couple of minutes and and you'll be, you'll be very tired. Your arm will be very tired. Whereas this one you can, you can actually crank it for an hour if you need to in an in emergency situation. This outputs uh, about 200 to 200 milliamps, uh, about the same as this. But this is actually more useful. Um, it has a it has a built-in LED, two light level, and I actually took this out from a regular hand crank generator with a plastic case. The only thing is the plastic case uh, got very gummy, has a lot of uh, sticky residue on it. I don't know what's wrong with with these some of these plastic things. They have a lot of uh, have a lot of residue on them after a while except of course for this radio. I've had it for 20 years the plastic doesn't doesn't get sticky, uh, where some of my remotes and some of my other radios, they get very sticky. Um, so I have to make some kind of plastic case for this, like uh, this thing here. This is a a battery I made for the drill here. So if you want it. To be more protected, you can make a battery case. This is this is a 3D printed, basically just a rectangular box. You just snap your cover in, and you have a, a new case, uh, right? So yeah, there's a lot of uh, different options uh, of powering your radio. The only thing you have to worry about is make sure that you have the center center negative. You won't see it here but uh, the symbol is a center negative. Some of this type of uh, electronics, this one is center positive but you you never know because um, they don't label it this one doesn't have it label this is also you can power it with 4.5 volt and um, I just assumed that it, it it was center positive whereas this is center negative so you just have to be careful I certainly wouldn't want to ruin this radio by reversing the polarity. So this hand crank generator can power this uh, walkie-talkie and um, because it has actually two batteries in there. This is a lithium-ion battery and it has another small um, this is, I think, a lithium battery too. So uh, it has a USB regulated output, 5 volt, and uh, 
hand crank, e easy cranking. You can buy this alternator online for about four or five dollars on eBay. You just look on the three phase um, crank generator, but it doesn't come with the gears. So you can 3D print the gears, but probably it wouldn't be as reliable as these. I think these are nylon gears, probably. Yeah, so I, I, I like this uh, hand crank one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching.